It's called the Hard Drive Destroyer, and the company was built out of one of the founder's frustrations. Known as Dropbox, it allows people to take their files anywhere. Earlier, I spoke to the company's CEO, Drew Houston, who told me how the company keeps on growing with 175 million users today. Since the dawn of computing, your stuff has always been shackled to your computer, or, and even now, to your phone, to your iPad. Uh, we think we can do a lot to help free you so you don't have to worry about where your information actually physically resides. I have to ask you, did this idea come out of frustration? Were you frustrated you know, with what you could do? Yeah, I had a little thumb drive, and it was my leash, you know, and I was emailing myself stuff, and I would have my pilgrimage to Best Buy to go get a hard drive so I could back up my other hard drive, just all the crazy things that we used to do. And, and you know, now we look back on those things and we laugh. Okay, and I'm curious about the innovation that went into that. I mean, what, yeah. did it take a long time to come up with something like this? How long did it take to perfect? <laughs> it took a big chunk of my 20s uh, to make it even just work properly. I mean, now we have a lot of models like this out, even you know, the Googles who have Google Drive. Do you view this as a threat to Dropbox? Are they competitors? And how? why is it that people would come and use Dropbox when perhaps they could use a Google or even a Microsoft for that matter. It really comes down, if you, if you ask our users, uh, the, the reason why they would use Dropbox, even though there's a lot of other stuff out there, is it's easy and it just works and it works everywhere. So, surprised at how big yeah. your office is. I mean, how many people do you employ right now? Uh, it's a few hundred. A few hundred people. Okay, are you growing and in which areas are you hiring? <laughs> uh, I think a lot of people want to know that. And where is it most difficult to hire these days? Uh, we've been growing like crazy. Um, we filled up this office about a year and a half ago. We only occupied this tiny fraction of it. Um, now we're like, God, we're going to need even more space. A lot of tech companies are complaining that they can't hire enough engineers. Are you finding that? Absolutely. I mean, that's critical to your business. Right. right. We spend an inordinate amount of time finding the very best people in the world. And that's the single biggest thing that we spend time on. Are you hiring outside the U.S. a lot? Or? We are. We just opened up our, an office in Dublin, and we'll be growing that team. How does a company like... Dropbox uh, handle global expansion? Like, are, are you targeting certain areas or is it really just a global model that you plug in anywhere? S since the beginning, we've actually had more users outside the U.S. than inside. Um, in fact, I think we have more us users in Europe than we have in North America. Uh, so it's always been, Dropbox has always made its way to the far corners of the earth even before we've opened up any outside offices.